in today's tutorial we will try to solve problem 10.9 and in the book it is given that uh, for problems from 10.9 to 19 the values are given in the table for all these questions the spring is squared and ground in spring we will have to check whether they are solid safe or not if not then what is the largest free length of that spring uh, for which the factor of safety should be equal to 1.2 so this is the table and this is problem 10.9 the diameter of the wire is 0 0.007 inches OD which is the external diameter is equal to 0 0.038 inches the free length is 0 0.58 inches and total coils and the spring is 30 the spring material that is used as music wire so this is the given data for the problem 10.9 now let's find out the mean diameter of the spring uh, which is equal to OD minus D so let's take the top view of the spring this is the internal diameter of the spring and this is the external diameter of the spring this one is the mean diameter of the spring and we want to find out that one this distance is not included in the mean diameter and this distance is also not included in the mean diameter if these two distances are subtract from the outside diameter OD it will give you mean diameter capital D this is equal to R and this is also equal to R and both of them will make 2R which is equal to wire diameter D so capital D is equal to OD minus small d by putting values the mean diameter is equal to 0 0.031 inches SC is the ratio of mean coil diameter to the wire diameter so by putting the values uh, we will get C is equal to 4.429 from C we can find out the value of the KB which is equal to 4C plus 2 divided by 4C minus 3 so putting the value of C we will get KB is equal to 1.340 now let's find out the solid force Fs which is equal to K into Ys or it is also equal to K into L0 minus Ls. For that we will need to find out K and K is equal to D to the power 4 into G divided by 8 and A D cube. We know the value of the wire diameter and also the mean coil diameter. G value can be found out from table 10.5 and the formula of Na can be found out from table 10.1 so go to table 10.1 and for squared and ground in spring total nt total number of coils is equal to na plus 2 so na is equal to nt minus 2 so put the value of nt which is 38 so na is equal to 36 in the comment you can see that high is written it is because that uh, na value should be between 4 to 15 but it's 36 so it is very high value now let's find out the value of the g from table 10.5 the spring is music wire and the diameter 0 0.007 is less than 0 0.032 so the value of the g is 12 mega psi so put these values in the formula of the k so k is equal to 0 0.007 to the power 4 into 12 mega psi divided by 8 into 36 multiplied by 0 0.031 cube that will give you k is equal to 3.35 at pound force per inch as fs is equal to k into l0 minus ls so let's find out ls from table 10.1 uh, and the spring is squared and ground in spring so solid length for it is equal to d into nt d is equal to 0 0.007 and nt is equal to 38 so it will give you ls is equal to 0 0.266 inches now let's find out the value of this uh, which is l0 minus ls it is represented as ys the value of L0 is given in the problem and we found out the value of LS so putting the values YS is equal to 0 0.314 inches as FS is equal to K and to YS so putting the value of K and YS uh, FS will be equal to 1.054 LBF now let's find out the tau S which is equal to KB into at FS into D divided by pi D cube this KB is equal to 1.34 FS is equal to 1.054 LBF mean coil diameter is 0.031 inches and wire diameter is 0.007 inches so putting all these values it will give you tau s is equal to 325.1 kilo psi now let's find out the ultimate tensile strength which is equal to a divided by d to the power n and a and m values can be found from table 10.4 for music wire m is equal to 0.145 and a is equal to 201 by putting the values it will give you 412.7 kilo psi torsional yield strength is equal to some percentage of sut and that percentage can be found from table 
10.5 so let's find it out from that table so before seat removal it is 45 percent for music wire so 0 0.45 and 2 sut is equal to ssy put the value f of sut it will give you torsional yield strength is equal to 185.7 kilo psi as you see that torsional yield strength is equal to 185.7 kilo psi and shear stress is produced in solid spring is equal to 325.1 kilo psi ssy is less than tau s and s factor of safety will be less than uh, 1 because ns is equal to ssy divided by tau s and for a solid safe spring it should be greater than or equal to 1.2 so the spring will not be solid safe now let's find out the largest free length of the spring that will be possible if we use factor of safety equals to 1.2 so for that first of all find out the deflection when that required spring is deflected from the required initial free length to solid length so that deflection can be found from this formula how this formula is derived and where did it come from so let's check that as fs is equal to kys so ys is equal to fs divided by k now let's find out fs and as we know that tau s is equal to kb into 8 fs d divided by pi d cube as factor of safety ns is equal to ssy divided by tau s and tau s is equal to ssy by ns so put value of tau s over here so rearrange this equation for fs so bring this term pi d cube to the denominator of left hand side and bring this term which is kb at n to d to the denominator of the left hand side so fs is equal to pi d cube into ssy divided by ns whole divided by at kb into d now divide k on both sides it will give you ys so ys is equal to fs divided by k which is equal to this formula as we know the value of ssy and in the given data it was given that ns is equal to 1.2 we know the wire diameter we found out the value of kb and we know the value of mean coil diameter and we also calculated the value of k so putting all these values it will result in ys is equal to 0 0.149 inches ys is equal to l naught minus ls the ls we calculated the value of ls which is equal to 0 0.266 from table 10.1 and the ys value is this one so l naught is equal to ys plus ls putting the values of ys and ls it will give you L0 is equal to 0 0.415 inches. This is the value of required longest possible free length. And you should keep in mind that reducing this free length from 0 0.55 to 0 0.415 inches will bring some stability to the design. But this was not the only problem in the design. There were other problems as well such as an A value should be between 4 to 15 and in this case it was 36 so there are other problems as well and the videos regarding machine design then subscribe to the channel to get the update